Hey guys, Gavin here. Decided to make a video about some seatbelt problems. Specifically locked, stuck, jammed, and seatbelts that are not retracting. I work with salvage cars, so I get cars off an auction such as Copart. I rebuild them, resell them, keep them, whatever. And uh, here's a perfect example. I just got a new truck here. And uh, it was in an accident. You can see the driver's seatbelt. It's just hanging right there. It's not reeling back up. It's uh, it's jammed, but it's all the way out. So this is uh, this is a video explaining how to get something like this fixed. Seatbelts that are locked or jammed after an accident. And um, I'll go ahead and remove this. I'll turn off the phone while I do that, and then I'll meet you. Um, in the shop in my little garage as soon as I get it out and uh, we'll go through the process All right, so got the seat belt out We're Going over the steps and uh, how to getting this thing back to work So as you can see it's uh, still locked. It's not retracting. It's not budging It's fully jammed You can kind of manually reel it in but It comes right out because it's not working so first thing we got to do is locate the plug, which you see right here, going from here. That's the plug right there. And uh, basically what it is, there's a gas charge in there, and it fires up during an accident, and that's what locks it up. And uh, this connector right here, we can check the resistance using a uh, multimeter, and just to make sure it's actually bad. Uh, let me just explain those two pins right there they're making a full connection so before we test it we have to make sure that um, those two wires on the very bottom they're not touching the pin so what I do is I use a toothpick and I put it right there to kind of separate it and I'll stop the video while I put it in and then uh, I'll show you what I did alright so here we have it uh, basically the toothpick it's it's not letting that wire touch the pin and the reason we do that is so we can get an accurate reading using those two pins to see what the resistance is and a good good seatbelt will have a resistance of uh, between two and three ohms and anything uh, that jumps around or if it's at zero can tell us that it's a bad seatbelt so here we got the multimeter set it to the ohm setting right there and uh, let me just put my phone right here and see what I can do to test it so I got those two pins right now connected and that's a zero right there so this is an indication that this seatbelt is bad and not only is it locked or jammed but the charge that's inside that belt is bad what that means is even if I could unlock it and I went through all the steps to show you how to get that unjammed this seatbelt is still useless and it wouldn't work the whole idea of a seatbelt is for it to save your life during an accident and if that charge is already off if we unlock that seatbelt and put it back in it'll never work again so in this case I use a company called safety restore uh, safetyrestore.com to get it repaired for me and uh, what I do is I send it out they replace the charge do whatever they have to do and uh, that's the only way this seatbelt will work again um, I do have another seatbelt let me just grab that one and show you the difference alright so I have another seatbelt that is from a Chevy truck that I just got back from Safety Restore and uh, I did it off with video but I just put a toothpick right there just to show you the test so what I'll do right now is um, same thing I'll show I'll, I'll hook up the multimeter and I'll show you the difference between the zero and a bad seat belt and uh, a good reading and a repaired seat belt all right just a little difficult here with uh, using a phone on one of my hands but I got the pins connected right here and you know same thing with the toothpick separating it and here's the multimeter 
and you can see a good reading between 2 and 3 at 2.3 which indicates that this seatbelt is good, it's repaired, it's ready to go. So if you guys have a jammed seatbelt that's not working, that's stuck after an accident, uh, what you have to do is send it out to Safety Restore uh, because you can't really move forward at this point because even if you can get it unlocked, it'll never work during an accident. Um, so that's that with the jammed seatbelt or stuck seatbelts.